Hey there folks, I'm Crazy Normacy, and this is Fight Log, a show where I discuss all things fighting games, some beat em ups, reviews, comments, concerns, full blown opinions of my own. So check it, let's get started. First topic, I want to talk about FGC and esports. Is there a connect? Sure there is. Is there a disconnect? Well, it damn sure seems like it. So, let's start with a couple of weeks ago with Echo Fox. Echo Fox started releasing some players and they got some name value to them. You know, then one of them got signed. Good for him. You know, he competed, did his retirement thing. But then, Echo Fox at it again. They released their FTC division manager. So it's like, what the hell? What are y'all doing? So a month or two later, after the dust has settled, you know, everything seems good to go. They let go of two more players. Now, these players, they're a husband and wife. So I guess I kind of understand why they were released together. But still, you know, what the hell? Like, they're, they're like dismantling their FGC division. It's piece by piece. So, I don't know. It's just bugging me. Like, I have no idea what's going on. So, moving on from there. Canada Cup. What happened at Canada Cup? Well, the streams went down for the, you know, every stream. The English version, the Japanese version. They went down during the top eight. I'm not sure if it was the Capcom Pro Tour going on or not but somebody correct me with the right info if y'all got it so yeah that was happening it went down and streams came back up only the japanese version of the stream i guess some people were upset there was some tweets happening you know capcom came out on twitter and they're like hey they basically apologized they were like hey we're pre-recording the matches going on We'll show them at a later date. My guess is that would be at a Capcom, Capcom Connect, the little stream thing they're doing. I don't know. I could be wrong, but maybe that's the right place for it. Anywho, you know, that's kind of like, why did that even happen? You know, I don't think, well, I'm not an expert like in the other realms of esports, but I don't think that's happened. Why haven't I heard? of any like major hiccups happening recently but like with the FGC you got that stuff going on it's like man that's top 8 that, that stuff can't happen during top 8 oof man that's yeah it's kind of a lot to cover so one more thing DreamHack DreamHack Atlanta is going down November 17th now why am I saying the date so they had a uh, Dragon Ball Fighters tournament you know advertised what not people pay to get in they're all registered all signed up well just barely yesterday what is it two weeks away from the event um yeah either it happened yesterday or a few days before but you know anyways anyways dreamhack atlanta is two weeks away and you know players barely got Notice saying it's canceled, so it's like, you know what, you know, DreamHack, they're giving no reason. Everybody, everybody's thinking, eh, maybe it's because they got a low, low registered turnout. You know, I guess uh, somebody associated with the uh, DreamHack, and they went on Twitter saying, no, they would never do it because of the register, yada yada yada. And I'm like, I don't know, is that a possibility that they did that because it turned out? Maybe, but I don't, you know, I don't see that as a reason to do that when people are paying money for that. Because for, for all we know, some of these players are only sponsored for, for Dragon Ball Fighters. And, you know, to, to have that happen last minute, that's kind of like, come on, what's, what's going on? You know, I don't think they've given a reason as of yet, but maybe as of this recording, something has come out, some new information was unveiled. Maybe, 
I'm not sure. But if you're a player for Dragon Ball Fighters that was planning to go to DreamHack Atlanta for this tournament, and now you're not competing for any game, reach out to me. Whether on here or on Twitter, Twitter handle at CrazyNormalcy, reach out to me. Let's discuss things. You know, of course, your privacy will be fully, you know, I will not disclose your name, all that jazz, I'll keep it anonymous, but, you know, it's kind of like, that's some kind of, that's some messed up shit, for real. But, anywho, that's it for the rant. Next show will be Wednesday. I'll have, eh, a slight review of Omen of Sorrows. And I'll have footage for the next couple weeks, for the next couple Wednesdays of Omen of Sorrow. So, that's it. That's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in. For all things fine games, y'all know where it's at. I'm crazy, normalcy. Till next time, keep on fighting.